Okay, have I got a treat to show y'all today. Um, here is a Jupyter notebook with a basic code set up with Euler Cromer method to create a plot of a damped harmonic oscillator. So we've got the spring force here, we've got the damping force here, we've got the velocity update, we've got the position update, time update, etc. Uh, then we're using PyPlot from Matplotlib to uh, create a plot here. And uh, since this uh, has a drag force in it, I decided to give the title what a drag. And there is the typical graph you would expect. This is not the treat. The treat is coming up in just a second. So uh, I'm gonna make one change to this. I'm gonna uncomment this top line where I'm using a built-in command as part of PyPlot. This is not an additional thing. This is part of PyPlot called XKCD. You can probably guess what it does from the name. You can probably guess what it does from the title. We have here, an XKCDified graph. So by invoking that one little command, plot.xkcd, you can get your graphs in a format like an XKCD comic. See, it's got the little waviness of the drawing on the frame. It's got the handwritten font. It's got the squiggliness of the graph, right? I mean, you know, you're because you know you're not reading off individual data points from this. You're look, you're just looking at the trend. It might as well be comically wavy, like your favorite web comic. I was so tickled when I found this out. And like I said, all you have to do at the beginning of using uh, PyPlot is just put in plot.xkcd, use the rest as you usually do, and it will create an XKCDified graph for you. So when I found this out recently, I said, you know what, let me see if I can recreate an XKCD graph. So over here, I'm attempting to recreate XKCD's law of drama graph for review. This is what that graph looks like. Rate uh, how often someone declares that they hate drama and always avoid it and rate at which they create drama. And it's, I, I pegged this as an exponential curve. So uh, over here, I've just uh, used the exponential function over here. I've put in my labels. And as before, I've invoked plot.xkcd. Let's see how well I did. Here is my attempt at a recreation. I, I think it looks pretty good there. I think that's a pretty good map match. Um, I've got an extra couple of lines over here and then I've got axis, uh, uh, I've got numbers on my axes here, which Randall does not have, but I think I've got a pretty good match. I need to figure out how to suppress those options, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that match. But wait, there's more. Things get even better if you make an animated XKCD graph. So here I've imported uh, Matplotlib's animation routine, um, which it turns out if you want to do that in Jupyter Notebooks, you have to bring in IPython displays um, HTML option so that it will render in this HTML environment. I'm still learning about how to do this. So I will try to get you a tutorial about that a little bit later in the future. But basically what we're gonna do here, we're going to uh, animate an oscillating sign function. That's what we've got in here. It's gonna animate when it goes forward each frame I here. And then down here, we're turning that into a JavaScript widget so that we can interact with it. So this is very similar to what we had before. We've got the, the wavy border. We've got the handwritten numbers. We've got the squiggliness to the, uh, to the function here. Watch what happens when we animate this thing. So because it's redrawing the graph in each frame of the animation, it's reassigning those squiggles in each graph of the animation. So the animation is actually wiggling in front of your eyes, which I think is pretty cool. So anyway, I just wanted to pass that along. I'll have this uh, Jupyter Notebook file um, uh, available at a link in the description below if you want to play around with this. So yeah, just use Matplotlive and just to invoke that plot.xkcd at the beginning and you can get your own xkcd style plots. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.